Welcome for another day of Rhapsody of Realities. You are all so blessed for tuning in today. Today's topic is titled, Increase Your Faith. The opening verse is from the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 3. For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as God has dealt with every man the measure of faith. Pastor Chris says, the first step to increasing your faith is knowing how faith comes. Faith comes by hearing. So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. This is from Romans chapter 10, verse 17. Therefore, if you are going to have more faith, you have to hear more of God's word. You can't be listening to negative things that produce fear and expect your faith to increase. That will only build more fear in you. Inundate your spirit with the word. Some people face certain challenges and are overwhelmed because they are operating at a level of faith that's too low to deal with the situation. Yet, it's possible to have a lot of faith that's weak. Weak faith is the result of the lack of exercise of faith. So, hearing God's word is one thing, but until you act on the word you received, your faith will be weak and you'll stagger when you face, face adversities. So grow your faith strong through the exercise of your faith. Strong faith is prevailing faith. It doesn't stagger. From the book of Romans chapter 4, verse 18 to 20, it says, Who against hope believed in hope, that he might become the father of many nations, according to that which was spoken, so shall thy seed be. And being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body now dead, when he was about a hundred years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. A rapacious appetite for the Word of God will, of necessity, bolster faith in you to tame circumstances, keep Satan where he belongs, and cause you to live triumphantly every day. But you must keep exercising your faith to keep it strong. Hallelujah! Let us take the prayer for today. Dear Father, I thank you for the opportunity to hear and receive your word today. My faith is increased even now as a result of your word that comes to me today. My heart is forever after your word and by my faith in your word, I prevail over situations and circumstances to the glory and praises of your name. Amen. For any further studies, you can go to 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 15, 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 7, and James chapter 2, verse 5. Thank you for tuning in for today's Rhapsody of Realities reading. Do like and subscribe to our channel to follow the daily devotion authored by our man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome. And share this with someone you know and so that you may bless them with the Word of God. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, 
I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni.msia at gmail.com. That's tni.msia at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.